Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali and today we're going to be reacting to food. Yay! Anjali and I's favorite. We yes. love doing temple videos and our next would be the yummy food from India videos. And we've done this, similar, right? Yes. And this is the $100 challenge in Street Mumbai. Street food challenge in Mumbai. This is going to make me so hungry and so I'm already we, hungry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Even though we just kind of had lunch, but this the the picture on it looks delicious so good um, we've done a few other things about mumbai so we know a little bit about the city of mumbai yeah. um but this will be interesting to hear about the street food we did the last food one we've did has been a while it's been um, a while yeah we did the golden temple feeds 500 000, 50 000 people it was like it was 5, big 000. no it was like 50, 50 000 people That's a day a lot. big bats of like curry it was deli looked curry delicious and, and um uh, chapatis, chapatis and right i mean just amazing so we know there was some delicious food in india so we need you yes. guys to send us a few more of these yummy videos because we like to to see You're making us hungry <laughs> well it makes us hungry but we can't get the, the authentic awesome food here unless grandma makes it or yeah. auntie makes it or somebody yeah but next best thing we can watch it at least on tv for a little bit until we come yeah. to india all right but we're going we'll come and we'll let you know so let's start this up before anjali's mouth falls off <laughs> To the, the Hulk mm. weighing in Ooh, at one kilogram. So this thing is gigantic. Well, let's try it out. Uh, uh, can we have a bite of that? I know. I think a lot of people can eat that. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Here we go. The $100 street food challenge has been a huge hit around the globe. In Korea, we tried luxurious lobster tail covered in molten cheese for $15. In wow. Japan, I took down an ice cream cone covered in real gold. What? $10. It just completely dissolves in your mouth immediately. <laughs> Now we're in Mumbai, India, and I'm yeah. challenging myself to spend $100 on street food in a food. single day. Like ridiculous amount. But like, good. Oh, <laughs> delicious food. Look, all fresh. So will Ooh. I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend like 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? Mm -hmm. I think people <laughs> saw the title and they're like, how are you going to pull this off? <laughs> Even I'll be joined by a local food, foodie expert, Natasha O'Connor, and she street. knows her stuff. It's such a vibrant city. You'd find the richest man living in the city and you find the poorest of the poor living in the city and you'd barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street yeah. food. So hit That's the Stairmaster awesome. and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating big in Mumbai, India. Hi. This is awesome. Pomegranate? Yeah. Mm. 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 I eat lunch but not like this kind of lunch. No. Stop one, the dancing Dabeli. In order to entice <laughs> patrons and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or, um. Yeah, that's dancing, right? Hey! Is he yelling at me? India is the best of kind of thing. Hey! What do we have right here? Right here, you have the amazing dancing dabeli. Now, a dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like uh, incense underneath? Actually, to keep away everything and for the effects. You know oh, how you have the these street side smoke effects. Yeah. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? Exactly. Are. Oh, Bollywood. what's happening? He's got the bread. He <laughs> dramatically rips them apart, carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some point. <laughs> <laughs> now he's ready. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, peanuts, and now he's just going to fry them in butter. Oh, man. Well done. Come on, people. <laughs> okay, it's like I'm this is a bit. <laughs> I've just got like a little salsa of like peanut, onion, and garlic chutney. Same. Oh, yeah. Mung flour shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun here is super toasty, crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Did you even get any? Mm. Hold on. <laughs> Here's those bites. That's hilarious. That's so yummy. The masala is not too intense, which is nice. The peanut, I love peanut in a sandwich. It's like extra, extra so chunky yummy. peanut butter in there. And it's toasty peanuts, right? It's not just like, right? yeah. Everything that fell yeah. out, I'm going to scoop it up like a nacho chip. That is heavenly. <laughs> mm. Yummy. 
very nice yeah. buttery, crunchy bun on the outside, so full good. of dynamic <laughs> flavor. It's a little bit spicy too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, this Pyramid is fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen rupees. Twenty-two cents. Oh, so we have to eat like one hundred times as much food. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you, I'm up for the challenge. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Not gonna no, you can't walk off camera till you finish eating that. <laughs> She's gonna finish it too. So whatever they get, they have to finish eating too. Yeah, but it's being a good lunch. I think you have lunch. Yeah. We have come to our <laughs> second location right here. I think it's a big lentil mm. fluff, like fluffy no, lentil mashed so potatoes. So it's actually gram fluff. This is one of the most hot selling dishes here, and it's called kamuni. Kamuni. Yeah. Yes. And you also can eat that like with Uma. green chili. So it does. Can do that. Right? I can. Yeah. I can. Can we pretend? Like I'll take a bite and spit it out, and then like <laughs> we'll edit it so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? That's what I do all the time. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> so right now, he's put some of the fluff on the plate, shaved gram flour on top of that. Coriander. Coriander. A big handful of onion, a couple of hot chilies, and then some little mirrors. They even give us a little mirror so you can check your teeth uh, for food at the end. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I thought you guard just meant like make it work. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We're making it work. We don't have spoons. We're not oh. using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna curve it a little bit. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, no. It's amazing, isn't it? Mmm. It's a little sweet, a little salty. The coriander makes it very fresh, and then the onion is a nice texture, a little Thanks. bit crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. It's it less hungry. <laughs> It's very yeah. simple, but very delicious. And honestly, why would you mess it up by eating chilies? You don't have to. <laughs> so it's fried, okay? It's not like as intense as it would be. It's don't fried. Believe, don't, <laughs> don't believe her. Don't ready? believe her. Yeah, take don't a bite. I'm going to take a bite. You're not going to? No. What it's the? too spicy for me. She walks you <laughs> She's like, but I'm not going to. Okay, here we go. One, One. two. Huh. I'm eat some other food. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm. Yeah. Does it add a little zing? Yeah, it adds a little zing. A little chili flavor. I love it. India has some of the most affordable street food yeah. of anywhere in the world. Ooh, but there's a lot of reasons so for it. And one of them is the like choice sweet, of ingredients and kind of the creativity with like the ingredients. Donut, yeah, how of. one thing can be used for like numerous right. dishes. Yeah. Even here, we have the kind of the gram flour mash. Yeah. And then we have the shaved gram flour on top, yes. giving a texture. Yes. This is awesome. I gotta know her, but it don't feel so good. Get a loser. We reached our next food location. How what we are having is an aloo like piaz kachori, onion cents? potato mixture that is stuffed <laughs> in Ooh, corn flour. Right. So this has been stuffed already. Yes, with onion potato and a little bit of spices, oh, all of it mixed oh. together, and it's deep fried. And then it puffs up. He kind of rips it apart, it's and then he puts on this sweet chutney, green chutney, the shaved gram flour, onions, and of course, and of course more chili. chili. <laughs> Forty-four <laughs> cents. <laughs> I mean, it's a good snack. Nice and crispy it's and good heavy. Snack. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your, your hands. Like a true Indian. True Indian. <laughs> oh, that's right a nice big bite. You've got yeah. some onions, coriander, Which is good all for it me. on top. Let's go for it. Not for me. <laughs> Wow, that mint chutney is so fresh, but man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's a bit spicy, got a little bit of crunch on the outside, but otherwise it's just kind of like a perfect like slow motion. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Like a bit more of the red chutney, and if you want it spicy, you just have the green chutney. Well, or this. Or that. Chutney in solid form. Ready? And here I go. I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, I don't think I would do mm. that. Oh, mm. the chili is magic. Mm. Maybe like, rinse someone with something or like with a drink on the side. Yeah, Maybe. Just a few foods <laughs> that you know is still not anywhere cents. close to $100. That's a lot more money. Natasha <laughs> and I are really gonna have to step it up to make this happen. Yeah, but in those hookahs. So yeah. Yeah. It's excited like a about the huge crust. diversity of food here. Like right now we have another one. What is this? This one's called ragda puri. Okay, have you had a pani puri before? I've had a pani puri. You take, you take, can I, they take a crisp such as this. They hollow out the top. Uh, <laughs> a little they bit. Gently, gently hollow out the top, and then they put in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that, and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with ragda puri, what they do is that they take the same thing, they fill it up with ragda, which is made of family of chole, it's like a family of chickpeas. They put that mm. and then you add a little bit of moong, which is like a lentil. So he's going to mix them up right now? Yeah. He starts with the crisp, putting a hole into it. And then so he's got this little mixture in this yeah, side so pan. Yeah, it's a mixture. So that's the moong, the potato, a little bit of spices. He's putting all of it in the puri. Now he's adding mm. ragda. Oh, and that goes inside of each yeah. one? Yeah. Some of the green chutney, some red chutney. It just keeps going. Or some. Chamasala. Some red chili powder. 
And of course, crunchy. Oh my Same. lord, it never <laughs> ends. Like, that's coriander. Yeah. Some peanuts. All right, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw it in your mouth, right? I got a spoon for you right here. I'm going to use my hand. Yeah. Well, today we are true <laughs> Indians. Yes, you don't use a spoon. No, no. Just take Sir, me. we are true like Indians today. Thing. We're true Indians. He doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab from back here. Ready? Uh, Mm -hmm. Wow, so much flavor, so crispy. It's salty, it's sweet, crunch on the outside. The only thing you've got to do is go really quick and eat it fast. Yeah, okay. As you can see, it's already getting soggy. It is getting soggy. It's getting kind of wet and moist on the outside. you got to be fast. Here we go. I hate being fast with food, because then it doesn't last. A tsunami of flavor. That is delicious. So now they're sharing it. And again, just kind of similar things that we've had all day today. Too. Right? All day so 50 cents In a different again. wrapping, different combo. Mm -hmm. So it gives you new sensations every time. Right. I love it. Oh, it's doggy. Yeah. I'm seeing similar themes in all the street food here. But here, it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes, it's called a masala kichia. That sounds nice. I want to name my daughter that. A masala kichia. Good morning, masala kichia. <laughs> yeah. You got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made out of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. Mm. And we're going to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh, God, I love ghee. Thank you for doing that. Yes, and then the smash. A tornado of onions, and there's some tomato here with cucumber, cabbage, all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. This is a green chutney, sweet like chutney. Shaved graham uh, flour. And, and then we got corn. Yeah. Yeah. And then what was the last bit? Chana dal, chana dal. Very successful. Here we have our Indian nachos. We're going to yeah, grab the see? chips now. Yeah, and like honestly, nachos, when you right? look at this big layer of food, you can't tell where the chips are. you got to kind of feel for it. Let's go. Mmm, there's a little cucumber, but it's not bad. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kind of surprised it's a bit like dry. In yeah, your mouth. it's a little dry. Mmm, it's a great yummy snack. It's actually a bit lighter than some of the other stuff we had. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far, do you think? Three dollars. <laughs> Less than two dollars. Are you <laughs> They need something to drink. Oh, we have pulled up at yeah. our final destination. We are at Om Snacks. It's literally Mumbai's oh, biggest God. sandwich. Weighing mm. in at one kilogram. Five layers. Five oh, layers. Wow. Cheese, veggies, so goat's big. cheese, more veggies, and just five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah. that happen? <laughs> because a lot of street food is vegetarian. Yeah. That's fair. India yeah. is like the only place you can go to eat vegetarian all day and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. That's Let's good. meet the guy. Right. Was this your idea? Yes, sir. What? Why? Why have you done this? It is too so flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. You will love it. Do people <laughs> usually finish it? We are actually finding that person. It needs minimum three people to finish it. Whoa. That's how big it is. Well, today, I'm going to yeah. take it upon myself. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we're gonna witness the creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine, a little bit of green chutney, layer of tomato, mm. then green peppers, chaat masala, mm. oh, cheese. processed cheese. cheese, and then more, more margarine, more bread, mm. more green. That's one there. Mm. Wait, so what is this one Ooh. that they're putting on? In house sauce. A what sauce? It's an in house sauce. In house You look like sauce. a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread, a little bit more green. Oh and then that's it. I think that. Oh, oh no. no. It's more. more it's margarine, more, more green. More this would be a good one. Like, just oh, have this. Goat cheese and then a goat cheese. Cheese. Oh, chaat masala. And then a little bit um, more uh, cheese. This is that's the it. white that's kind. Oh, no, he's not done. More yeah, margarine on the bread, more green. This is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? Looks like some onion masala mix. Grating more cheese. Another piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Mayo? Wow. That looks like marshmallow. <laughs> that looks more cheese. <laughs> Organo, oh chili flakes. Oh, oh <gasps> jeepers. This is all the layers right here. They're going to put this monstrosity in some <laughs> sort of oven so and bake it. Good. One kilogram of sandwich goodness. Stuck in the middle. What can I do? do that, not eat it. <laughs> here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk. Oh. oh. Uh. <laughs> what do you usually do in this situation? Do you put on more cheese? That's okay. Listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Yes. Are you satisfied with the size? <laughs> <laughs> Is that an awkward question? Or? $4 or four rupees? No, $4. Guys, we Is have the sandwich here. Is that oh, how much cut. we spend? Classic or how much so there's a dollar deal of even true. more layers inside. Or it's Let's try it out. 
Yeah. Uh, I hope it is, because then they at least up their prices. Oh. Yeah. Then they've hit almost $10, oh, but after they finish this, are they going to have room for anything else? Oh. Yeah, you can yeah. have some a sweets. little mushy, mashy oh, inside, <laughs> a little yeah. crunchy on the outside. Can't go through the day without any some sweets. Some chai and the some orange layers. There's a ton of tomato I'm flavor coming through. It's a bit spicy. It's cheesy. You can just Ooh, peel all the layers of bread as you crunch through it. If you turn it upside down, you can really get that cheesy layer. That's what we want is that cheese. Oh, what is that, mayonnaise? Mm. Oh. <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mail. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed. This is like good hangover food, huh? Yeah. Take one more bite. Finish it. Aren't you supposed to eat the whole it's thing? It's a big monstrosity. He says it takes I did not expect to see this in Hawaii or in India, period. This was worth it, man. But mm. the city of sandwiches, which is what this is called, right? Mumbai is called the city of sandwiches. <laughs> She's like, what? No. 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 But they do like sandwiches. No, yeah, we do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. Is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. No. <laughs> oh my god, it has been an amazing, long, fun-filled day of eating. When you add it all up, the food cost this much money. $7. Did we get to hundred dollars? So it was for this. Oh. Even get, yeah. I think we missed it. Wow. <laughs> they so didn't get did ten dollars. It is and they've already eaten four to eat one hundred dollars worth yeah. of street food in Mumbai, India in one day. Maybe in no, one year, maybe go, like, chai, in five years. Mango, Indian see, street food like is the perfect sweets, intersection of affordability samosas. and yumness. Elevating simple ingredients know. to their highest potential and with would, dynamic flavors you have to do and the joyous big textures. Big Natasha from like, Curly Tales, laugh. again, Don't thank you so much for middle. your company right. and all your knowledge about street food in Mumbai today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure mm, tours, and more. Like to learn fun. more yeah, about One Trip, that. check so out the course. links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Yep. <laughs> no, only one chance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, amazing, amazing yeah. food. Looks delicious. And I knew he was gonna fail at spending a hundred US dollars in But Indian I didn't think food. he would fail that bad. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even reach $10. No. Not even $10. Not it even was $8. Like barely $8. And he was feeding her too. Like they were getting, well, at one point they started getting one meal, yeah, which I think was two. Um, a little bit better, but if you had to finish it, there's no way you could spend a no. hundred US dollars unless you had like, you know, a family of 10. 10 people maybe and ate all day long, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, chai, more chai, more, more chai. chai. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like there's no way you could do that. Like, I feel like even if we came, the hundred dollars would last us, you know, a good 10 days for I us thought at least eat. they would get some chai. Yeah. And sweets. Yeah, so they forgot sweets. They only tried like four things, which I understand. Like they probably had no more space in their stomach after eating all that food. And that monstrous giant sandwich looked yeah. amazing. But yeah, you need at least three people to eat a part of it. And that would probably have been a meal if three people shared that sandwich. Yeah. That was huge. Um, looked yummy though. Uh, it all looked yummy. Yeah, I deliciously mean, yummy. I've, I The only one that looked familiar was the one that looked like Utma, but they didn't call it Utma, but it had no. that texture to it, and then they put the chips yeah. and stuff on it and made it. And um, what was the other one? Oh, those little um, balls that he poked the hole yeah, in. Yeah, those, those look Those look similar. familiar to us um, from things that we've eaten or tried here, but the, all of that looked amazing, amazing, amazing. So good. Freshly made. So yummy. All the chutneys. You oh still have to go to India. And then you'd have to eat some mangoes and samosas. And they had like pomegranate in that sandwich. Oh, yeah, that, that looked, looked good. good. Mm. Oh my God, this just makes us hungry. And I'm telling you, the food here is the Indian restaurants here are very Americanized, kind of. They're not as spicy, they're definitely flavorful. We enjoy them, but um, you know, when we go to his sister's house and his mom and his sister, they make like authentic fresh handmade food, food. <laughs> more you know yeah more authentic than um the restaurants here i we have to tell them to tone down the chili a little bit because angie and i love the seasoning and a little spice yeah we can't do 
You can't do a lot of spice. You can't do a lot of spice. I don't think I would eat in those raw chilies. But this looks so yummy and definitely on our list of things to do when we come. Yeah. Um, not only to come to Mumbai, but to try some of that awesome yummy street food. But there's so many cities now on our list and so many places to go between the temples, the street food, you know. Um, More food. And more food. <laughs> and chai. Anjali just wants, yeah, chai. chai. Mm, some good chai. And um, yeah, anyways, making us wish we were in India right now. So I wish we were. <laughs> Hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe. Join our wonderful family and we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.